that's recording. Do 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 do. Everything on mute. Of course, as soon as I hit record here, now I get the Apple pinwheel. There we go. All right. Ah, oh, give me a sec. How do I do this? I guess I'll do the typical. Hey, how goes it? Intro. Fuck it, right? <laughs> seconds of dead air and then I'll go in at 30. Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak from the Bitcoinpodcast.com here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. Thank you for joining me for not another Bitcoin podcast. Today I will be speaking with Mark. Uh, Mark, if you could please go ahead and introduce yourself, let people know uh, who you are, what you, um, or sorry, who you are, how you got into crypto and what you do now in the industry. Uh, crypto Mac as I go in the industry. Um, how I got into Bitcoin, basically, someone had told me about it back in 2013, so I decided to look it up. Uh, ran into Satoshi's paper, read it, was really intrigued about, you know, everything that he put down on that piece of paper. You know, the problems with the banking and the solutions that he laid out for us. And was like, you know what, let me invest in this, uh, you know, it's really cheap, which, you know, I, I love technology. I was in um, tech support at the time anyway, so I kind of had a basic understanding about it and was reading into it more, and, you know, it turns out, and here we are, 2017, and the price has gone up a lot, so it's been uh, really good to me. Um, as far as what I do now, um, originally I am an ex-employer of Cripsy, the support team, and I currently work as another support staff member of another exchange currently. Unnamed, undi uh, undisclosed exchange. I like the mystery. Um, so, uh, uh, what, what do you do besides, like, the work stuff? Let's talk about, like, your hobbies and interest in crypto. I see that you just recently started mining, and you're, you personally helped a friend of mine get into mining. Um, what is your experience with mining at home and the profitability of it and just the, uh, the level of intellect it would take to, to start mining from home and the whole experience around that? Mining, it's, you know, it's, it has its ups and downs, that's for sure, you know, um, even if you're advanced at, at computers and hardware and things, there's a lot of tweaking that may need to be done, depending upon what kind of cards you're using. Uh, originally, back in the day, you know, when Bitcoin was around, you know, you had, it was already set up, you know, you had the ASIC miners and things of that nature, which made it a lot easier to do, but even then, it wasn't that much profitable when I was mining Bitcoin, but it was just nice to have that aspect and know what to do and, you know, where to mine to and just have that, you know, settings and configurations already in hand. So once Bitcoin got out of hand and not profitable anymore, it was basically um, kind of throw it, not throw it away, but throw it away in the sense of like, this is useless. I still have all my Bitcoin mining stuff simply because it's related to Bitcoin. But once we did the math, we found out Ethereum and Zcash are very profitable with graphics cards. And, you know, that's why if you try to go out and buy graphics cards for the 480s, 580s, 570s, 470s, they're sold out everywhere. They're back ordered. Everybody's jumping into this. I have buddies that have no understanding what Bitcoin is, what Ethereum is, and they're asking me questions. They're asking how to get it and what to do and how to set it up and as far as mining goes. And, you know, even with uh, coins themselves, like people listen to me because, like I said in Bitcoin, back when it was, you know, 50, 100 dollars a piece, well, nobody listened and now everyone's like, wow, it's like you know, almost $3,000 a piece. You know, you did know what you were talking about with that. And same thing with Ethereum. Uh, I bought in the Ethereum when it was $13. Told a couple buddies. They bought in when it was 16 They have no technological background whatsoever. And you see where the price is now. So they're thanking me that, you know, I do know what I'm saying when it comes to this. Uh, basically, mining, um, even at the end of Cripsy, you know, we did start the... Uh, mining farm there. It didn't last too long because the company had shut down, unfortunately, after uh, about a couple months there. So, you know, picking up on even the back end of how mining worked, it uh, kind of trickulated over to what I'm doing now to where it's a lot easier for me to set up mining. Um, I still try to use GUIs. Um, my favorite thing to use right now would be NiceHash. Um, 
you know, that's just my preference. Unless you have a good amount of rigs set up, then, you know, definitely it's possible to be and profitable to mine Ethereum itself rather than having to go through somebody. Um, but, you know, it's just fun. Um, I'm not much of a hardware guy, but when it comes to this, you know, it's kind of, hey, you can Google this, look, okay, you need to tweak this, download this, um, you know, you need to patch this if this is an error. So there's a lot of information out there, and it's just like doing the research. Uh, I kind of look at it, uh, you know, like a lawyer. A lawyer, majority of the time, they're doing research on other cases, how to solve what they're dealing with now, and that's basically the same way I look at it as mining. You know, if there's a problem, there's a solution, and, you know, that kind of is my activity as well. A big thing of what I do um, besides work, um, I'm big into jujitsu, and jujitsu, you know, you're you're stuck in tough positions all the time, and you have to figure out a solution quickly to overcome the problem that you're in, and you know that kind of comes into my life at all times, where you know, okay, I can think on my feet real quick, and I can ask other people because the blueprint's there. You know, if someone's successful at something, I'd rather stay around them and ask them questions because chances are, if I follow their blueprint, I'm gonna walk that same path, and you know, that's kind of where it's led me. That's interesting you say that because, like, that's why you're here, you know what I mean? I want to surround myself with successful people in the industry and, and speak to people that are striving for the same exact thing. So it's funny that you mention that. And, like, my, like I said earlier, you helped one of my close friends start mining from scratch. He had absolutely no clue. You and him had a conversation. Next thing you know, he's buying graphics cards. It's, it's pretty cool. Like, you know... You're really quick for, like, the inquiries, like, hey, I got this issue. You're like, well, here, here's the answer. You know, it's, uh, you, you have a real knack for finding answers to people's questions, which is pretty funny. It's considering, like, kind of what you do for a living with the other exchange and, and find with the, uh, the issue support tickets and stuff like that. Like, someone comes to you with a problem, you find them a solution. Yeah, you know, it's uh, basically having, that's the best part, you know, having the ability to see it from both ends. You know, I've had problems myself, and I still have problems myself with certain things, certain cards, you know, like uh, NVIDIA setups, uh, a lot different, harder to run on Windows. So I have to ask somebody else, you know, hey, there's things called PIMP, you know, you can download that and run it through that instead of running it through Windows just to get your hashing rate up. So... You know, there's a lot that I don't know, and I have people above me that are well adapted to, you know, mining itself, setting up rigs. So if I run into an issue, I ask them. And, you know, being in the crypto game since 2013, uh, the best part about it was, you know, I've developed a lot of friendships with people, whales and everything, include developers of certain coins and everything so we're actually in a back room with crypto chat where there's thousands of us just sitting back there we're all coming up with ideas of you know working together to try to come up with new products and you know basically give people what they want try to give the world and the industry what they're missing and you know that's probably the best part this thing has given me a bunch of friendships and introduced me to a lot of successful people and how to think differently than what I used to think when I was you know stuck in a nine to five mentality where it's like well this is where I'm going to be and what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life I guess you know um, like I said the blueprints everything and I just rather surround myself with more successful people and you know it's worked out since 2013 for me at least. That must have been a crazy year 2013 like to get in and see like that happen and then stick around and like, yeah, I know it's 50 bucks or 150 bucks, but it's it's worth buying now. Like, relax. Um, when it goes to the mining uh, the mining hardware that you were mentioning, it's sold out. Like, it, all the graphics cards that you mentioned are on back order. They're sold out. What is your opinion on that? Do you think that it's 50-50, you know, gamers, miners, or do you think it's more like 90 miners, 10% gamers? Like, what do you think is the reason all these cards are pretty much all sold out everywhere? Oh, I definitely feel bad for the gamers, you know, people that are actually buying the cards just because they want to play a video game, now they can't, um, it's definitely miners, um, even more so not miners, it's other people that are, especially Amazon, eBay, uh, they're great at buying and flipping things for profit, well, they see this and they have the ability to grab a load of them and just double their money real quick on these cards, you know, um, some of them are selling for like $210 originally, but they're going for $700, $500 easily on eBay and Amazon. So they're making three, four, five times their profit sometimes. And 
Um, you know, that's what the world's about anymore is just trying to make a quick buck. So um, I can definitely see that being part of the problem, but definitely for miners. Just like the Bitcoin rush, this is the new gold rush. It's, you know, the mine Ethereum. It's very profitable with the price right now. So um, everyone's trying to jump in before the proof of stake. Yeah, I was just going to get to that. Dude, that's per literally on the tip of my tongue in my head, uh, proof of stake. So what is, I, I know this is a very obvious question and an obvious answer to the people who know, but the people who don't know yet, who haven't started mining yet, who are being incentivized by the prices and the profitability of mining Ethereum, what do you think about the hardware that they invested in or you invest in when Ethereum goes from proof of work to proof of stake? Um, like, what are your plans for that hardware? Well, I mean, that's the good news. Uh, you know, you're buying quality graphics cards, so even at the end, if that happens and the price dives and, you know, everything's done with as far as mining it, well, the graphics cards are still worth money. You know, and most likely you'll still be able to get, you know, at least your money back by that time. I mean, we're looking at maybe six months to a year out, possibly longer from what I'm hearing as far as uh, the proof state goes. So, I mean, you got six months. Uh, it cost me about seventeen fifty to build a six GPU rig, and it's making a thousand dollars a month. Ooh. So you figure in a month and a half you're making what you spent back, so you should be fine. And but the problem is, you know, getting the graphics cards quickly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the problem is getting the cards in general uh, right now. By the time you get them, it may be at the point of a uh, proof of stake instead of proof of work. Some people's I heard some people's back orders right now are like two months. It's uh, crazy. Or like you said, you can go and buy it at a premium from somebody on Amazon flipping it, but then you have to hope you make your ROI back before the switch. Or I heard there's other coins that you could mine uh, with the same hardware. Uh, do you know what they would be? If it isn't Ethereum, what you could mine when Ethereum switches to proof of stake? Like what other coins could you mine with the same hardware? Zcash right now. Um, okay, cool. A lot of the other graphics cards like the 1070s, 1060s, uh, they're more profitable to mine Zcash on. So even if you were to do, you know, proof of work uh, or the proof of stake instead of proof of work, well, you jump right into Zcash and it's you know about the same almost in profitability as as far as ETH goes as well. Now, when you mine, you're 